up out there YouTube Double D here with Turnage Dubois welcome back sorry for the long hiatus not a lot of videos coming out but had uh, my niece got married so I had to do go do that I've got four work trips coming up but most importantly while I was on that trip to my niece's wedding I found out I was accepted into the autumn and art show in Wichita Kansas that's a two and a half day event really looking forward to the opportunity to show my wares and uh, my artistic things so we're going to be busting some rear end over the next couple of months prepping up for that show i've got four work trips in there so it's going to be a busy busy time over here at tournage dubois so thanks for the support thanks for sticking around thanks for waiting for more good stuff coming out so we're in process i've got these two pieces of maple that i just showed you here i want to do a lidded candy dish type thing one with a pedestal and the other with a lid do some texturing possibly on it maybe a little bit of coloring on the lid Let's see.
All right, so we have that sanded up to 320 grit. We're gonna use our denature to alcohol on it, clean that grain up, pop it just a little bit, so then hitting it with the 400 grit will sand that back. Absolutely loving the striations in this curly maple. That figuring is just absolutely beautiful. So really glad I went with this piece, and I think the final product is gonna look really nice too. That just dries super quick. You can feel that grain having raised just a little bit, so there's a little bit of texture now. So then we will hit it with our 400 grit. Now we're going to use our abrasive paste from Brad's Workbench. Use the coupon code DD10 when you are buying stuff at his Etsy store. That'll get you a nice little 10% discount. Really glad that uh, he gave us the opportunity to save our viewers a little bit of money by uh, giving them a, that coupon code. So huge thank you to Brad um, with that. Now Brad is out of Texas. So as you know, Texas just got hit uh, by that hurricane. They were impacted, but I was texting with him earlier today and they are all safe. So that is the most important thing um, in that they are all safe from that storm. Uh, but of course, the whole community is reeling pretty big with uh, getting that hit. So just keep them in your thoughts. And when you're using this abrasive paste, it is not important that you get heat buildup like you would with a fine polish or a wax type finish. Uh, while this does have some waxes in it to help with the breakdown. So the most important part of the abrasive paste is that diatomaceous earth that is used. What that is, is just little granules of, of uh, earth material. And that just, that constant rubbing against the material uh, in the sanding process just helps smooth it out even more than what the sandpaper does at a much higher rate. So uh, this abrasive paste, uh, I believe is around 12 to 1500 grit consistency uh, just with the with the size of, of the diatomaceous earth that he uses in this. So it just gives it that really ultra fine feel. Which is always a good thing to have because it just adds to that absolute smoothness of the finished piece. Then as you were working this in, you just shift your rag that you're using for it. And then you just keep working it in until that comes back clean. So we still have a little bit there. So... We'll just work this a little bit more and then switch to a new spot. When it comes back clean, then you have all of the abrasive paste worked off the material and you're good to move on. That curling is just spectacular. Super smooth. Really happy with how that worked. So I almost missed a step. We're using the tongue wax finish from Brad's also. So absolutely Love this finish. Just like the, this and the Tongue Honey are two amazing finishes for wood. Uh, this is kind of like, ends up being like a friction polish with the waxen thing to melt in to the piece, giving a nice durable finish. And I prefer a matte finish on most wood products. Once in a while, something glossy will really strike me. But wood is wood and wood is not naturally glossy. So that's why I personally prefer the matte look and that is a something that this finish does very well is it gives it a durable matte finish that will allow for it to maintain that luster for a prolonged period of time regardless of use things like that these are my go-to finishes for uh, most of my wood products so we put this on let it set for about 10 to 15 minutes then we'll kick the lathe on, get some heat buildup to let that wax really melt into the wood. And then we'll get that finish completed and start the lid. All right, so this is gonna be the lid piece. The first thing I'm gonna do is get a tenon turned on this so I can flip it around and then I'm gonna start shaping the bottom. So when I start shaping the bottom, the first thing I wanna do is get that lid, the lip, 
cut back to where it fits relatively snugly inside the base of the dish so that'll give me that dimension and then I can push them together get the shape get everything to match up the way I want it to and then we will get the rest of this shape so let's get rolling on that All right, so what I'm going to do on this side is I'm going to make a mortise, um, but I'm going to concave it a little bit. So I want to get that lip established, then the rim, get those matched up, and then I'll concave it, and then I'll put my mortise further up in there um, so that I'll be able to get that turned around and get the outside done. All right, we're now gonna do our abrasive paste on the inside of the lid, and then we will get this flipped around. So I will tell you, I did not do a super tight fit on this piece with the lid. Most of the clients that I've ever worked with don't like that tight fit. They want it to be able to, something that they can open and uh, relatively easily not have to fight with it. So that is why I don't do the tight lids. I know as a woodworker, 
and a turner our challenge is always to make things as close fitting as possible but like i said i haven't had a lot of those that uh clients were interested in so that is why i do it the way i do now we'll do our tongue wax finish once again on the inside and after we buff that off we'll get it flipped around All right, so when I was at AAW uh, a few months ago, I got a Ram Products brushless carving tool. So I'm gonna use that to texture this. This is the fine tooth, so hopefully there won't be as much sanding to do. All right, so we have that sanded up to 420 grit. We have this a little bit textured, the middle part as well as the handle portion, just to give it a little bit more of a natural look. I textured out to the outside of that ring. Unfortunately, my battery ran low. And then I just burned that line in there with a piece of Formica. So now we're gonna do the sandy, the abrasive paste on the outside portion. I'm not gonna do that on the inside portion, but then we will do our tongue wax finish on this piece and get the tenon taken off the other one and then we'll basically be done so Time for our tongue wax finish. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'll actually come back to this tomorrow. I'm gonna put this on uh, the whole piece, but because I can't buff it off of the middle portion because of the texture, I'm gonna let this set overnight. So I'll let it sit for about 24 hours and that'll really let it 
soak in, especially on that bare grain that I've exposed with the texturing. Really let that soak in and uh, go from there. I was thinking about doing some India ink, but I didn't want to take away from that burn ring either. So I think this is just an easy way to go with a nice finish. And like I said, let that soak in. Might do a coat or two on it. Um, but we will let that sit. And just soak. All right, we are back. It is the next day. So we're now gonna buff this off and get this going. Hey everybody, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that where I took those two curly maple blanks and made that lidded candy bowl. So here is the final product. Um, we've got our little bit of a stand. I uh, wanted a thicker base just to give it some stability, uh, just that look of girth. Um, we've got the lid, the li lines up really good. There's a little bit of play in the lid, which is what I wanted, makes it easy to take it on and off. Got our inside finished as well. Get that little bit of curling through it. And then the little bit of texture there on the top middle section, including the finial with our burned line. I will say when I did the logo burning on the bottom, I did a sample or I did a test lineup to make sure everything looked good. And then I hit a different button and it moved it off to the side. So <laughs> 